Flats Glass YouTube, welcome back to the channel. In the past, I've done an awful lot of videos on my skiffs, uh, both the Hells Bay Eldora and the Hells Bay Professional. Um, but there's always these little, I'm going to say, accents or accessories that just make skiff life, well, better, much better. And I always feel obligated to share those little features with you. So we're going to walk over here in a minute. And I want to just show you some of the things that I think that you can add to your skiff to make it pretty cool and to make it more functional. Let's go take a look. first really cool accessory has got to be the power pucks right here. It allows me not to have a cord draped across the deck. It's literally my quick release plate for my trolling motor, but it's, it's electrified. I mean, it is the plug. There's no more corrosion issues. There's no more cords to trip over. It satisfies every need that I have, especially if you like to utilize trolling motors. It's stupid easy to want to own one of these. And I've got a little clip here. You can see a tighter shot of it. Even has a lock here. Now, let me show you the next thing that I think is pretty cool. The next little cool deal that you can add to your skiff to make it a little bit more functional, a little nicer, is this little Clegg leg. I've got a little clip right here that you can watch. And it's, it's made out of all PVC, it's got some stainless hardware in it, but basically it keeps these trolling motor heads from getting beat up. It's a shock absorber uh, and it works perfect on my skiff. It's not that expensive. Shipping from Australia costs a little bit more, but uh, my friend over there, he sent me one to try out. I've been using it now for about a year and I love it. Let's move back and show you some other things that make eh, skiff life convenient. RoboCup makes this cool little Velcro on cup holder that holds a Yeti. I mean, it'll hold my Yeti chug bottle. And it's fantastic. Honestly, when you're up there on the polling platform, it's nice to have that right there. It's not in the way, you're not tethering it to anything. Slides right in, works great. The fourth little cool add-on that you can make uh, happen for your skiff that's not outrageously expensive but it sure does come in handy when you gotta set that push pole down and jump down to grab a fish, or you hook up and you're just looking to put that push pole somewhere and you don't have anyone to hand it off. And that's these little T-Bor push pole holders. Uh, you can find them at finer fly shops or pro shops like we have at Hells Bay Boatworks, but they're fantastic. I, my carbon marine push pole snaps right into that perfectly. It doesn't matter what situation I'm in, even if I idle or Cadillac from spot to spot, I can clip it in there and it's totally secure. It's 360 degree rotation. And honestly, it's like having a third hand on the boat, but I've got more for you. Take a look at this. I love these little Sea Star clips that fit on either side of my Yamaha. Uh, right there on the steering mechanism, they make life so much easier. They keep the motor from twisting when I'm driving down the highway. They keep it safe and secure. I would definitely, for a few bucks, add those. All right, for those of you that don't know, I'm about six foot five. And when you have a regular kill switch cord that's short, it's a short leash and you have to clip it on your wrist or clip it on your belt and you stand up or you reach around to grab something, I end up cutting the engine off all the time, or I used to, not anymore. I got this cool little lifeguard lanyard here, and I'll show you a, a tight of it, and it's fantastic. It's a longer leash, so if I need to reach around, get into my cooler up front, or help someone do something, I'm not going to cut the engine off. And it's just a lot more comfortable. Let me show it to you. They're naturally a lot more than a, a cheap little West Marine um, kill switch 
lan lanyard, but they are so well made. They'll last. It's the last one you'll ever buy. And look at all this reach that you have where you can move around before the kill switch comes out. So it, it obviously encourages me to, uh, to keep it on my person a lot more by having that more comfort type of kill switch leech. All right, without a doubt, the absolute coolest little yeah, accessory that I've added to my skiff that has made it really nice is from Big Drip Outdoors right here. They've hooked me up with the lodestone and boy have I found a lot of needs and things that are convenient now for me that I never knew I missed. Let me show you. How many of us throw our jigs on the floor of the boat or we hook them in the carpet up underneath, you know, plugs and things on the carpet underneath the gunnels? I mean, we all do it. it we're just looking for a place to stick them till we get back to the, to the ranch, so to speak, and put them away. Do I have something so much simpler? It keeps them all in a bunch as you're using them throughout the day and you can always wash this thing off. It's just, I can't believe I didn't think of this. Watch. Without a doubt, the coolest feature or accessory has to be the Big Drip Outdoors Lodestone. You can put your lures on here, hooks, jigs, whatever. I put them here on my dash so they don't end up down here on my aqua traction or underneath the gunnel where I'm putting holes in there. I put that jig down there just so you could see. I'd have to stick that actually in my aqua traction. I don't want to do that. I want to pick that thing off the floor. I want to put it right up here and then it will stay there. I've got nothing to worry about, but that's not all. I'm using these lodestones in a bunch of scenarios. Let me show you this one. I also put one here on the inside of my helm door. And why I did that is I can keep, sometimes I'll wear board shorts or something like that. I don't want to carry pliers, so I'll put them right here. I can just snatch them when I need them. I put my truck keys there. That way I'm not digging in the console looking for them. I've got them right there. So when we get to the ramp, I can just grab them, jump off, go get the trailer. It's, it's just, it's just smart. It's just such a smart tool. And in fact, now I wish I had a third one that I could put up there on the bulkhead. So if clients want to stick something there, they can, and that likely will happen. Well, I really hope you enjoyed this little video and all the little components that I shared with you from the power pucks to the Clegg leg, uh, to the robo cup holder up there for my chug bottle, to that incredible lodestone from Big Drip Outdoors. If this is the kind of stuff that you're interested in, just, you know, snazzing up your boat, learning some fishing tips and strategies that I share typically three, four times a week here, or you're just here to watch Flask Glass Television or the new Tidewater Diary series, why don't you subscribe? You don't wanna miss any of this stuff. It's my job to make inshore fishing better for you. And I'm gonna do that every week here in my virtual classroom, if you will. All right, I'm off to do a few more videos and then get ready for fishing tomorrow. I got a big one tomorrow. We're shooting with Bob Puccinelli. That's right. He's a mirror lore historian. We're going to teach you how to catch fish with the Paul Brown lore.